absolutely beautiful morning. We're gonna go uh, watch them paint up the field, man. Pasadena is so gorgeous. Union, personalized the story a little bit, starting uh, at the place I went to school. And then also it's uh, such a great game, you know, UCLA, yeah. LSU. That's a cool part about Louisianians, you know? They're tough. <laughs> They're used to these hurricanes. They're not missing a trip to the Rose Bowl. Cool. So um, I'm not going to stick with you this whole time. Okay. Um, I trust that you'll stick to this area. Please. So it doesn't really get much cooler than this, especially for a first stop on this trip. But I'm uh, field level. Rose Bowl, Friday morning. Absolutely stunningly beautiful morning. The sun is out for real all of a sudden and it is hot and it is like eight o'clock in the morning. Maybe not even, but as you can see, look at all this dude that's still on the field. You see that spray? You know it, man. I'm gonna try to. Nice. I gotta tell you, man, being down here for this field painting, everybody's relaxed, joking around. It's a lot of fun. It's been a fantastic experience. Thank you to Sierra at the Rose Bowl for setting this up. And uh, I'm getting really warm right now. I'm gonna start sweating in not too long and this mist is slowly burning off the field. And uh, it just does not get more beautiful than the Rose Bowl. There's something so special about this stadium. And uh, being down here on the field the day before the game is just, uh, it's a really neat experience. Great way to start off the fifth down tour. So uh, this is kind of stuff we're gonna be trying to do. So sign up join the ride it's gonna be a lot of fun man i'm not in shape for this but how about a little little sprint to the 50 yard line apologies for the bumpy ride man, i just want to say something about this grass this grass is every bit as good as it looks on TV. This is, it's such a beautiful plain surface. It's, it's the most gorgeous fairway you've ever walked on. It's springy yet firm, if that makes sense. So it's a fast track, but it's got amazing give to it. Uh, you get on a field like this and it's just like, man, I understand there are problems where you need field turf. Your, your field gets torn up. The university has to use it for a bunch of stuff. But natural grass is such a superior playing surface. I, uh, I give extra points to every university that takes the time, effort, and care to grow natural grass. And I don't think anybody does it better than the Rose Bowl. This is a Bermuda grass field, is that right? Yes, Bermuda, yeah. And how, how Bandera. does Bandera? Yes. And how does the Bermuda take the paint? I know some grasses struggle with Very it. Very well, it's, uh, so, especially in the summertime. Okay. It's, very, it, it's growing. When it's growing, it's good for the for the. It grows out of the. When we paint, you don't want to cake it out in there because if you cake it, it's not so much that the paint kills the grass. It's if you cake it and you don't let the grass breathe. Yeah. You want to be able to let the grass um, keep growing, so letting it, you know, we throw two coats in. 
instead of throwing a heavy coat on there. Yeah. If you throw a heavy coat on and then you're caking it and then grass is not going to grow out. And how long does it take to paint the whole field with all the media lines, everything you're doing now? I was amazed how long this takes to get it all done. We started on Tuesday, but it starts really from Monday, making sure everything is lined out, measured out. But it's pretty much the whole week, Monday through, Monday through Friday. Yeah, this is Friday, by the way. So they've been yes. at it five days now. And Miguel, you've been here how long? 20 years. So 20 years, Miguel, at America's most beautiful stadium. And he's one of the reasons why it looks so good on Saturday afternoon. Sun so warm is just heating up this fresh grass smell. And, uh, a little piece of heaven it's sewn on there very nicely. But um, I don't know if there's going to be any pylon cam for the game. And some last minute watering here. I'm going to be honest, man, he's watering out there. It has got so hot today. Taking everything I have not to run out there and just get soaked in that hose and cool off a little bit because it is a hot day in Pasadena. It's been overcast the last few days in Southern California, very uncharacteristically for this time of year, but man, it feels like September today. Look how this field just pops now. They got all the extra color down, all the white. And it was, it looked good when we came in, but I had no idea how much better it was gonna look. This thing just pops. Shoot a little video of this. Oh boy. Large. What do we got? Hold that thing up for the camera. Let's get a look. Look at that. Rose Bowl sweatshirt. How cool is that? Rings. Show the sponsors. It's original stuff. You're the man, Miguel. Here you go, sir. Appreciate you, brother. Biggest upsets in Rose Bowl history, 1976, UCLA knocks off an undefeated Woody Hayes team, 23-10, player of the game, John Sciarra, UCLA. 1966, UCLA again, those were the original gutty little Bruins. Tommy Prothrow, coach of UCLA 14, Michigan State 12, Bob Stiles, UCLA player of the game. Uh, second massive upset, UCLA actually beat both of those teams after losing to them in the regular season, I'm not sure that's uh, ever happened again. In 2012, I was at that Rose Bowl, one of the greatest Rose Bowls ever played in terms of excitement, Oregon over Wisconsin. And Chip Kelly, of course, was the Oregon coach, now at UCLA. UCLA still hoping Chip can bring that same magic back to Westwood. Meant to stay about an hour. And um, man, it's now about noon. So I've been here over four hours watching him paint that field. It was too cool to leave. People were too cool down there. Miguel was too cool. I have a video with him. He's the head groundskeeper. And um, man, does it get more iconic than that back there? That's just it. Uh, granddaddy of them all, Mecca of college football, Rose Bowl Stadium, Fifth Down College Football. Glad to be here. Amazing first stop on the tour. So uh, more coming your way.